Hi Brian Bear, it's just on TV, back with another video and first of all I'd like to send my wishes to Kobe Bryant's uh, family, Kobe Bryant, the former LA Lakers basketball star who died with his daughter in a helicopter crash yesterday so we uh, want to send our best, wish, best wishes and prayers to the Bryant family and yeah it was just a big shock to hear but you know hopefully I can find out what happened and speaking of yesterday Rangers obviously were in SPL action away to Hearts at Tynecastle where it finished Hearts 1 Rangers 2 goals coming from Ryan Kent for Rangers, Naismith and Boyce for Hearts the start 11 for Rangers was McGregor Nets back for Flanagan, Golden, Katic and Barisic. Midfield three of Kamara, Davis and Jack up front. Defoe, Aribo and Kent. And it was a weird game. Rangers seemed to kind of go up the, the Hearts end. Kind of do something, doesn't happen. Hearts go down the other end, do the same thing. And it was kind of going backwards and forwards. I know that Kent had been had a chance that he missed. Aribo missed as well in the first half and on the twenty eighth minute Rangers get a free kick and Davis puts the ball in and one of the Hearts players headers it I managed to find another Hearts player who just basically whips the ball down and Flanagan basically to put the quote takes one for the team, uh, gets booked, and then just three minutes before half time in the 42nd minute, Ryan Jack just you know, does a weird challenge and gets booked. And Hearts and Rangers go in at half time 0 0. Second half, uh, Rangers decide to make two changes. Polster and Arfield come on for Flanagan and Jack and a minute half, uh, two minutes after the start of the second half, Barisic gets the ball. Uh, Kent, uh, Kent enters from Hearts, running down the uh, middle, passes the ball to Barisic who kicks the ball low into Rebo who basically takes the touch, lays off to Kent and Kent scores. And yeah, Rangers seem to be looking good. And then 10 minutes later, Hearts get their goal from Naismith. And it was just weird. It was more of giving them time to shoot. And do know that obviously Golden had slipped, which didn't help. But Naismith scores, it goes to one each. Rangers then make their final change in the 73rd minute. Kamara goes off for Ojo. Hearts make their final, uh, bring the, their sub on the 75th minute and on the 83rd minute Boyce gets uh, his goal for Hearts, hits a shot, gets deflected and goes in beats and basically that was it. Overall for ratings wasn't, I think Possibly Arfield, uh, Polster, Barisic, McGregor, Katic, I'd say Paul had good games. Jack, Flanagan, Kamara, and Davis weren't it, were okay, see as a rebo. Kent and Kent to me just, he had, like I say, had one thing, one shot that he missed in the first half and besides kind of getting his goal nothing else happened I had to ask a few people if he was playing because he just seemed to have disappeared and whether you like it or not Hearts got their points and it doesn't help Rangers in the title only good thing really is that they've got a game in hand and 
yeah, Rangers have to really start looking at getting back to win ways quick. I know a lot of people said that Rangers relied a lot on Tav and Morelos, but the one thing that I will say, which you know I'm going to admit, was I felt Flanagan was not a weak link. It's, uh, I think, depending on the age of what, you know, watching football, I and mean, I've said to people as well, I call Flanagan an old style defender. In other words, you know, years ago, 10, probably maybe even 20 plus years ago, you know, right backs or left wing backs kind of thing didn't happen. Normally, right and left back kind of stayed back, helped the defence, and then allowed the midfield to go. Obviously, I know that the style in football has changed. I know, obviously, the idea that your wing backs are meant to, your right back or left back are meant to bomb on. But when you've got someone like Flanagan, who is an old school defender, and you basically want him to run down the wing, either put, you know, maybe allow Goldson or Katic to do that and let Flanagan defend. If you want him to run, he's not going to do it much. He's used to defending. Like I say, Polster, when he came on, seemed to do well. I think, you know, like I say, I think he's more of the newer defending way, so he had to, could, you know, look to do well. And Rangers' next game will be on Wednesday, so that will be a interesting game to Ross County. So, you know, when you look at the table, you know, there are about five points above the relegation, Ross County, so that will be another hard game. And then I think the next game after that for Rangers is Aberdeen. So, you know, then Rangers need to start you know, doing well. I know Celtic have St. John's, are way to St. John's in that same night. So, hopefully, something in Perth can go well for us. But I think it's just as long as we keep getting points and with this game in hand definitely whenever it does come up we definitely need to take the advantage and win it and get you know winning I know Morales will be back nothing's been said yet on Tav and we'll see what happens a few I know a lot of people would been saying that uh, you know Jamie Murphy that went to Button Albion for six months was good. Doherty going for <coughs> Sunderland for six months was very strange. Uh, with, you know, hopefully McCrory, <coughs> Ross McCrory can come back. But we'll see what happens. But yeah, big thanks to everyone that's been watching. If you know, haven't, please uh, support the channel by hitting the like button, hit the subscribe button if you want. Just use, uh, hit the notification bell or the bell that just lets you when new videos are uploaded. And I'll see you in the next video. Alright guys, I'm out.